this work is so important. And one, it's because one, the service is free. Yes. Yeah. Where, and I've looked high and low for a place like St. Martin de Porres House of Hope, now Southside Center of Hope. There was no place like that, like that. I never ne even knew it existed, okay, until the opportunity came my way. And I say it was, it was an opportunity because in treatment centers, I've been there. You know, you're, you, you don't have that, um, that individuality in a treatment facility. Like you're just a missed client. Client. Uh -huh. The purpose, I would feel the soul support it, is because you're helping individuals. You're helping where the staff looks at those young ladies or ladies as individuals, as women, as human beings, their children, they bring them in, they're able to go to school and get an education. And all of this stuff is free, but if it's not supported, if no one is supporting the cause and knowing that if I could change, and I mean, seriously, I could show you my jail ID and you'd be like, whoa, but I'm just saying, if I can change, believe that anyone can change. And the, the philosophy sometimes is once an addict, always an addict. Once a hoe, always a hoe. Once a this, always a that. Uh -huh. that that's not true. If you read the Donald, Dr. Seuss, Captain Hat books, you'll find out that you could become whoever you want to become in life, but you just need that support. So if we don't have that support, that continued support through the Southside Center of Hope, where there is no place for a woman to go with her children and be able to reside. I don't know what the time frame is now, but I heard it, they got a little, um, it's like you can stay over a year. And that's awesome because sometimes you need that cushion to be able to get yourself together, especially if you have no one. A lot of people don't have family. I don't have family, but God has afforded me people outside of myself. First people was Sister Connie and Sister Therese, Miss Ollie, family. So to say is you gain a family. So the, I ask, you know, that support, they need the money though. You can't run off a ship. Yeah. And things have changed so much nowadays in the world that we can't let Southside Center of Hope dissolve because it doesn't exist anywhere else. Yeah. Nowhere does a place like this exist where women are afforded drug management, house management, food management, uh, chore management. They're they're they they're learning how to live life management skills for free. Uh -huh. But I ask, and we say we need the support. We need people to throw in that money because it's not free. And yes, you can change. I changed. I changed. Yes, I might have went back out there, but guess what? I gained so many C's at St. Martin de Porres House of Hope. And I made those choices. It wasn't because of the choices that St. Martin de Porres had given me the Southside Center of Hope. It was the choices I made. Mm -hmm. But to say is, if you make all the right choices and you continue to follow their path, their blueprint, because I believe that Sister Teresa, Sister Connie knew what they were doing when they wanted to open that door of love, because that's all it is. Yeah. So it's so important to support the cause. You're helping women and children to be able to come out of that suffering mindset because that's what happens. If anyone is on drugs and living risky uh, lifestyles, it's because most of the time they didn't sign up for that. There's some suffering. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's some things that has happened. And so in the only person and places that I say is there are treatment facilities, there is jail, but those places come with just no individuality, uh -huh. no love really, you know. Um, but I say at Southside Center of Hope, you get that individuality. You get to be treated like you're enough, you and your children. And you just get that unification and that support because Miss Juanita and Miss Ali and all of them, they're still showing up. Yeah. And those are the old school alumni, okay? They're still there because guess what? It's not called the House of Hope for nothing. So please, supporters, please pour in your dollars. Please pour in your dollars. Because there are many more still suffering out there. Many yeah. more.
And we cannot let this facility, we cannot let this place of hope go down. We need it because there's no place that offers a place for mothers and children. And right now it's the holidays, so important for mothers to be bonding with their children.